There were many discussions and debates over the repurchase of Greenneck shares by the new National Party government in 2020 at a cost of 63 million U.S. dollars paid to majority shareholders, WRB Enterprises. With a new government at the helm, there is an interest by opposition leader Dr. Keith Mitchell as he looks on to see how Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell's government will proceed with the country's lone electricity company. With the two Mitchells set to face off for the first time in Parliament, a statement from former opposition leader Tobias Clement in November 2021 during the 2022 budget debate comes to mind. Mr. Speaker, God forbid, as election turns on a dime, just perhaps, Greenleck might end up back in the hands of WRB. In an exclusive interview with local journalist Calistro Farrier, Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell was quizzed on his plans when it comes to Greenleck. He claims that the former majority holder of Greenleck was handled in a rather hostile manner and that the buyback of Greenleck was not in the interest of Grenadians and was an ill-thought-out approach. If you look carefully at what has happened, to a large extent from 2013 to when the government bought back the majority shares, there was no real capital reinvestment in Greenleck because essentially the owners of the company, the majority owners, recognize they're at war almost with the government or at least there's a cold war going on. And so they are not going to fatten the calf that you want to take from them. Prime Minister Mitchell says there's no question that the board of directors at Grenlick will be changed and that a thorough analysis on what will be done with Grenlick will be conducted. I certainly would say my inclination is I'm not satisfied, even uh, with an NDC administration, that the government should be the majority shareholder. What we need to look at is find a strategic partner or strategic shareholder in conjunction with the Grenadian shareholders. You'd want a partner who clearly is already in the, in the energy business and who also um, has a strong renewables uh, footprint. And I think that could happen in, in, in six to 12 months. Opposition leader Dr. Keith Mitchell, who received his instruments of appointment on Monday, says it's strange how such a serious issue unfolded so soon after the general elections. Such a serious issue that was not even mentioned in the campaign or put in the manifesto. That is a rather strange one indeed. Dr. Mitchell warns about conflict of interest and lays down his belief of divesting Greenleck shares to the Grenadian people. I've made the point that government has not been good at running things, business stuff. So I'm not against a philosophy of divestment. But you have to be very careful when you're dealing with a national security asset. Cherry and Blackman, Stephen, GBN News.